As you understand, the uh, most important component of the reverse pro osmosis process is the uh, membrane. <clears throat> Today, the most widely used type of RO membrane is a polyamide thin film composite. Uh, it consists of three layers, a semi-permeable thin layer that is less than uh, 0.2 micron, 200 nanometers or less. It's made of uh, aromatic polyamide, which is supported by two layers. One is microporous polysulfone layer. It's about 30 to 40 microns. That is cast on top of the uh, reinforcing layer of polyester fabric. It varies around 100 microns. The ultra thin polymeric film is the feature that gives the RO membrane its salt rejection abilities and uh, all other characteristics. The main functions of the two support layers are uh, to reinforce the membrane structure and to maintain membrane integrity and durability. The most widely used membrane uh, module configuration today is a spiral wound element, as it is shown here. It consists of a number of uh, so-called envelopes. Envelopes. Each envelope is uh, basically two uh, membrane sheets separated by a thin plastic net that is called a permeated spacer, a permeated uh, trico, that forms uh, a channel that allows transport of the permit to the, towards the uh, permit uh, tube collector. The membrane leaves are separated by a feed spacer, which forms the feed channels and provides the mixing of the feed stream along the length of the membrane uh, element. The whole assembly of envelopes is rolled around the perforated permit collector tube and collected by a fiberglass shell. Covered, covered by the uh, fiberglass shell. The two ends of each row elements are finished with uh, plastic cups that we call uh, end cups or anti-telescoping devices. There are several ways to classify RO membranes. One of them shown here it depends on the water source of the application. Uh, in general, uh, membranes can be divided into seawater and brackish water membranes, depending on the feed water salinity. Here in the table, you can see very approximate brackets for, for each membrane. For example, for seawater membranes, the salinity of the water varies from 30, 35,000 millig uh, milligrams per liter and up. Uh, these membranes can operate at pressure up to 80 bars. Brackish water membranes are designed to treat lower salinity, anything below 10,000 milligram per liter. And within this classification, uh, there are subsets of membranes that are rated for different performance. For example, uh, within uh, seawater uh, domain, we can differentiate high rejection and uh, low uh, energy membranes. Same, same we can do in the brackish water membranes. As the name suggests, low energy membranes are designed to reduce the energy re required to generate a permit, while uh, high rejection membranes offer better permit quality at the expense uh, of the energy savings. Other types of membranes available on the market today are uh, low fouling membranes and low differential pressure membranes. <clears throat> Low fouling membranes reduce the potential for fouling, and for example, by changing the surface properties of the, of the membrane layer or the polyamide layer. Low differential pressure membranes can be considered as a subset of low fouling membranes. These membrane modules typically have a special feed spacer with optimized geometry that leads to lower pressure drop performance. The feed channels uh, will not plug as quickly uh, with the uh, suspended solids, fouling, or scale. Today, LG Chem produces the full line of seawater and brackish uh, water thin film nanocomposite reverse osmosis membranes that can, uh, uh, can be selected for various applications. Uh, we can offer the highest rejection seawater membranes in the market, so-called uh, G2 membranes, 
with 99.89% rejection. And the broad spectrum of brackish water membranes, varying from high rejection membranes with the rejection 99.78% and anti-fouling membranes to a low and ultra low pressure membranes. For details, you can go to our website and see all the specifications. For a system designer, it is important to choose the right set, set of membranes for a particular application. It requires certain experience, of course, but uh, as a very basic set of guidelines, you may want to use this chart. Uh, the upper uh, row shows the range of seawater membranes, while the row, uh, lower row uh, is uh, for brackish uh, membranes. If you're looking for energy savings, then your choice is the ES membrane. If you do not have very high, uh, tight requirements for the product quality or your application temperature is relatively low, let's say because uh, below 25 degrees C, then again, your choice is ES membrane. If you need a high quality product with low TDS uh, or your feed salinity is high, let's say it's somewhere in the uh, Middle East, then your choice is high rejection membranes. For seawater, it can vary from relatively energy uh, efficiency friendly R to very tight SR membrane. For even better quality or some energy savings, you may want to consider premium G2 membranes. For brackish water applications, the choice is even wider. In addition to high rejection R and RG2 membranes, we offer ultra durable Dura membrane and anti-fouling AFR membranes for challenging waters. Again, if you have any questions regarding the uh, choice of a particular membrane for your application, do not hesitate to contact, to contact LG, to contact us.